How you guys doing? This is Derek with Dunland Woodworking and today we're going to be taking a look at the Wallabot DIY 2M stud finder or wall scanner. I like to refer to it as a wall scanner because it doesn't just find the studs, it actually scans the wall and tells you what everything is inside the wall and you'll see that in a moment. So you've seen at the beginning of this video I demonstrated what happens when you put a screw through a pipe that has water pressure through it. Obviously you probably already know this, water goes absolutely everywhere. That's why something like this is very important because this will actually show you the difference between a pipe or wire, whether the wire is live or dead, and the difference between that and a wood stud and or metal stud. It'll actually show you the difference. So if you're hanging a picture and your crappy old stud finder reads that there's something there and you put a screw into it, it could have been a PVC drain pipe. You don't know. It could have been a pipe like this. Who knows, it just read something was back there, it didn't, it's not actually telling you what it is. Where this right here will actually tell you whether it's a pipe wire or it's a metal or wood stud. That is awesome technology for this thing. The way this thing works is it shoots electromagnetic waves through the wall and that's how it can read what's inside there. It can shoot through uh, an inch of material, whether that's OSB, plywood, or drywall, and it'll read up to four inches inside of the wall. So it'll even read a two by six wall because any pipes, wires uh, are typically in the center of that wall. So this thing can read that. Now it has more antennas vertically than it does horizontally. So if you're tracing a pipe or a wire and that pipe turns and goes that way, you wanna keep it uh, parallel to that pipe and if it turns and goes that way, you can twist it and find out that it goes that way. It'll just be more accurate reading because there's more antennas this way. So you want to kind of shape and kind of go with uh, whatever direction that's going. Another thing is this operates off an app, but it isn't just an app. You do need this device right here to, uh, to read what's in the wall. It's not going to work as just an iPhone app. Uh, and that is another thing, it works on both Android and iOS. It doesn't work with just one or the other, it works with both. So you do need this device, operates through an app. Uh, this is MagSafe, so it will connect to my iPhone, but it also comes with two magnets, a thick one and a thin one, and you apply the thin one to your iPhone case uh, or your Android case or your Android phone, and it will be able to magnetize right to it. So you can actually put your phone right on it and read the wall, or you can detach your phone. Your phone does not have to be connected. It could be sitting right here on the table, and I could be running through, and you'd be able to see what's in the wall over there on your phone screen. But that is important to note is that this isn't just an app. Now let's go over everything that the bundle comes with. It comes with, obviously, the Wallabot DIY 2M unit itself. It comes with this soft bag. It comes with the magnet kit that we just went over, uh, which is this right here. And then it comes with this soft pouch, which is pretty nice that you can store the unit in. Uh, comes with a charging cable, directions, and all of that. So I'm excited to show you what this thing can do. I'm gonna show you this thing reading everything inside of this wall. So first and foremost, we're gonna power this thing up. And you're gonna see a red light pop up. Now then we're gonna open up the app and this will just take a minute. Uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna uh, sync them. So it says fast reconnect, join. This just takes a moment for it to pair up with it. Um, if you haven't used it in, I mean, even if you shut it off and exit the app, you're gonna have to just reconnect it really quick, which this will be done in a second. And then after this, we're gonna have to calibrate it. You're gonna wanna recalibrate it to each wall that you use it with. Uh, so this just talks about the drywall calibration so you don't have to put it on the actual phone but I kind of do just because it's easier to read that way so let's hit calibrate it's going to show you how to do it go flat to the wall you're going to go in a circular motion so let's do it start calibration and this just takes a moment to and it's going to actually tell you whether it says like uh, to do scan a larger area or whatnot but this really doesn't take long you probably go around in circle like three or four times already calibrated and then right here we can hit start scan so start scan we're going to start all the way over here so we got nothing right here then this hits a dead wire because there's nothing through it we hit a metal stud it actually tells you where center is on the metal stud as well then we hit a wood stud it tells you same thing it tells you when you hit center you can hit a copper pipe here and hit a pex pipe here 
right here we got another wood stud and then we hit a PVC pipe right here. So you can see how it reads absolutely everything inside of this wall pretty accurately, which honestly still blows my mind. Um, still pretty interested in how this thing works, especially the fact that I can tell you a, a metal stud between a wood stud. I can actually tell you the difference. And then also the wire, no electricity through it, but tells you where it is. And then if you were to trace something, if you were to trace something, hit this pipe here, trace down. If I start getting off of it, it goes off of it, move it over, I hit it again. So it's that accurate when tracing it. And then, like I said before, I can detach this thing, put this thing on the wall, pipe, stud. So you really don't have to have it connected. You can use it, uh, you can use it while it's away from each other, but it will tell you what it's reading. Now that you've seen how this extensive technology works in an actual wall, um, I highly recommend going and picking up one of these, whether you're a DIYer or a professional. Uh, just all the features this has, the fact that it'll tell you where center of the stud is, is another awesome feature. And uh, obviously being able to tell the difference between a PVC pipe and a stud. Whether you're a DIYer hanging some shelves or you're a professional like me hanging cabinets, uh, it's really important that you don't put a screw into a drain pipe. And even knowing where center is, is really important too, to make sure that cabinet is uh, properly secured to the wall. So I highly recommend going, checking out their site and picking up one of these things.